Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm gonna to talk you through an amazing uh, jQuery UI tooltip in fact as always let's begin with the uh, end result which is the browser preview notice as I hover over these two different icons you can see that the tooltips actually fade in and fade out when you mouse uh, in and when you mouse out technically we say that the mouse enters and the mouse leaves okay notice that the tooltips actually throw in, throw in a different colored border as well so it's keeping up with the theme when it's actually Dreamweaver it's the lime color it's red changes to red when I have the flash up in front of you okay <coughs> so it's a tooltip on a hover with a dynamic uh, border that actually changes from time to time depending on uh, what's inside the content of the tooltip moreover people you see right now the tooltip is stuck to the bottom <coughs> left corner of this small uh, division is the wrapper and uh, I can easily change it to a different corner uh, this is the JS panel this is the very little uh, jQuery that I've actually used in fact I've used jQuery and jQuery UI guys I'm using code pen it's an online editor it has three panels the HTML panel which is this the CSS panel which is this and obviously we have the uh, JS panel to <coughs> excuse my throat uh, yeah this is the JS panel the very little very minimum JS okay and uh, I've used the position method of the jQuery UI you have a reference out here so it clearly says that position an element uh, element relative to another <coughs> the uh, you know the options are my default is center at again the default is center of default is null collision which I haven't used okay using null as a default so you, you can get some reference at API jQuery UI dot com so yes I've used jQuery and jQuery UI on top of jQuery in code pen in the different panels you see in the JS panel I have this gear symbol and you can see I've included the latest library jQuery and jQuery UI okay I can just drop it down and I can choose it for if you are using Dreamweaver, Coda, Sublime Text 2, 3, whatever you'll need to link up through the script tags type JavaScript and link up through the SRC to the actual file or you may use a CDN as well <coughs> but since I'm using a, a codepen.io it's an online editor which I absolutely love I can just uh, you know uh, go through this drop down and include the latest jQuery and jQuery UI libraries with base theme basically uh, it's a basic theme no, you know themes allow you to add different colors to I'm gonna, gonna get into the details of that right so uh, basic jQuery UI on top of jQuery uh, I have used out here you see this uh, position method allows you to position your tooltip uh, left top in relationship to the left bottom of the wrapper which uh, surrounds the two images see if instead of saying left bottom let's say I say uh, <coughs> right bottom let's see what happens it's just gonna refresh now yeah you see it actually changes the corner or how about right top there you go alright so uh, the detail explanation is gonna come in the next part the last part the part one is always I show the browser preview and uh, just talk you superficially through the uh, the script okay uh, the script out here this you know these two lines 11 and 12 can I actually zoom up give me a minute I'll zoom it up <coughs> control plus and a plus again okay so line number 11 and 12 which you can hardly see out here say say that if this basically 
dot next div. So since you don't know what this refers to right now, it's basically uh, this dot next div basically refers to uh, the tooltip contains the Dreamweaver content. If if so, then let the border be five px solid line. Okay, but the CSS says that the border should be red. Let me. <coughs> this is the CSS. Okay, the tooltip. This is actually the tooltip says the border should be red 5px. So the red border gets overridden by the JS if it's if it finds that the content inside is uh, the content for Dreamweaver and not Flash. Okay, so you see the this is the CSS and uh, just let me scroll through if if you guys uh, you know it's gonna take me some time for me to upload the second part if you guys do not want to wait what you can do is guys you can just copy this URL this much okay and paste it in a browser and you'll be able to access the HTML CSS and the JS all three of them the whole project basically <coughs> If you guys are good and smart with the uh, the coding with jQuery jQuery UI, you may not need the second part for me to explain everything. You may just uh, use the project. Okay. See, I'm gonna show you something else. If I hit the share button out here, say so direct links to HTML. This is the HTML. Direct links to CSS. This is the very little CSS and this is the very little JS. These are the links. You can open up these links on your system. And you can actually, you know, if, uh, let me zoom up even more. Yep. This is the uh, HTML. This is the CSS. This is the JS. And uh, this is the whole project. Okay, guys. So please do join me in the next part. And, uh, I'll show you how using jQuery and jQuery UI this actually very simple to create tooltip for uh, accomplish. So guys please share the video, please sub if you already haven't uh, and uh, do thumb the video up if you think it was deserving. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Peace.